Hello, I'm Cara Sevens and this is Sign 7, here to give you a look at what's been going on in the sign and wide format print industries. This week we speak to London-based signage manufacturer and installer Goodwin & Goodwin about its inception and what's led to its awards success. We started with very small um, in our little one bedroom flat. Uh, all the signs were underneath the, the living room chair and we just take it up, wrap it out and send it out. We soon realised that um, our passion is signage um, and we slowly moved into the sign industry um, starting with the then quite popular bulb letters. Strictly Come Dancing was one of our first clients um, and that's basically how we started the business and then just moved forward from there. So I, I grew really frustrated doing um, digital design and I always wanted to do, make physical things. Um, so the idea was to use the graphic design background to create physical products. So we started doing homeware, home accessories and furniture. Everything had a typed theme about it and then we, so we had a few signage products at the start of things and it was the signage products that started to grow and we built the business from there. I think both of us really likes to be hands-on so when we, when we first started we, we made the signage ourselves and we were very interested to learn about different materials and how things are manufactured um, so the first part of the career is basically learning how to make it, learning about materials, speaking to experts within the industry or mainly experts in material. I think it helps if you learn how to actually make the product that you want to promote. The company holds a BS EN 1090 certification which is an important requirement for metalwork. It was really important for us, we had to choose between going with ISO or something that we feel is a little bit more uh, relevant to us as a company. And EN 1090 was the old CE marking for welding. Um, if you work on larger projects, um, for instance, on architectural signage, um, not a lot of architects or um, branding companies know this, but you really should have your um, welding done under this um, umbrella. I, I myself had to go for training on exactly how uh, you know to spot the welding, which is quite an interesting process. Um, I suppose I was the only female that's ever done it, uh, which was quite interesting. Um, but I really enjoyed it because um, it's so it's, it's it's actually shocking what you can do wrong. Uh, so one of the most amazing things about working here is that is the people. We've got some amazing, incredible people with like decades and decades of experience. And one guy just works with neon. We've got another guy that's just decades of experience working with metal working, um, and it's fantastic bringing all these crafts people together into uh, you know working in one workplace. It's, it's incredible, and and the quality of the work that comes out of here is just mind blowing. So everybody is really passionate about signage. You'll find most of us walking around London looking at all the ghost signs, you know, and all of the beautiful signage that you can see out there. Um, so the ethos really for us is, is, is a passion for signage and, and wanting to find something new and different that we can, can give to our clients. Earlier this year, the company won three awards at the Sign Awards, including the coveted Signage Company of the Year under 30 employees. So it was really good to be recognised for the work we've done because blood, sweat and tears has definitely gone into this business, that's, that's for sure. Um, I mean, I get goosebumps when I talk about it because we are so passionate about it. It, it does put us in a position where we feel that, that, you know, not just only to our own industry but also reflecting out to our clients, they know that we are the company that they can come to with assurance that they will get the product that they want because quality is an extreme important um, aspect for us as a company. The projects that come to us from some of the branding companies, architects or, or design companies are just incredible and it's such fun to work on this and to look at new materials, to, to source new things that's never been used. Um, I mean one of the things we did years ago, which probably everybody does now, is, is to actually rust acrylic. Um, we love playing around with materials and things like that so it's quite fun to work on all of these interesting um, projects. 